33 goals for Memphis Depay. But I think the big talking yeah. point is just how that move to Barcelona has just been a massive shot in the arm with regards to his confidence. And we've seen players, haven't we, shrink after making the move to yeah. Catalonia. The likes of Anton Griezmann yeah. and Coutinho. But for Depay, he seems to embrace yeah. it. And now he's taken that to the international level. Yeah, but Memphis Depay... It's always uh, a discussion in Holland. Is he a center striker? Is he a guy who, who needs to come off the, uh, the, the sideline and comes in and then does his trick? But this guy has like a confidence incredible. Um, if he isn't playing well, if he isn't playing uh, uh, scoring goals or whatever, he doesn't get confused. He knows he can play, he knows that he's skillful, and he knows that the goals will come in the end. And um, I think Barcelona will have like a lot of uh, pleasure um, having Depay in the team. And Ronald Koeman, the manager of Barcelona, he isn't crazy. He knows what he's getting into the team. And Memphis is a, is a particular guy, uh, a, a very good player, and he will become one of the next big stars in, uh, in Europe. And Frank, after all the disaster that Barcelona have had over the last couple of months regarding their finances and Messi and Griezmann, getting Memphis to buy for a free could prove to yeah. be absolute genius. Yeah, he's, he's been playing like two or three matches already and, and the crowd in Barcelona, they are really, um, how do you say it, um, uh, strict, you know, you, you need to show skills, you need to be a, a typical kind of player, a Barca player. And I think he already conquered their hearts and they already cheered and applauded and chanted his name. So this guy is on a mission. And whenever he's on a mission, I think he will succeed. So I believe this season without Messi, but they got, I'm, I won't say a new Messi, but they got Memphis. And uh, hmm. I, th I think they will do, uh, do well. Marcelo, we know hindsight is a wonderful thing. But why on yeah. earth didn't the Dutch Federation bring in Van Hall before, say before the Euros? Yeah, that's uh, the big discussion also in Holland. Um, I think they were looking for the easy way out. So they, they brought in uh, Frank de Boer and uh, Frank was uh, in the national, uh, with the national team just to prove something. You know, he wanted to, he had like this bad run of three uh, clubs where he didn't uh, succeed. So he needed the national team just to uh, improve his his career career and uh, what he did is that he he played very defensively he played like um, he didn't want to lose and this is a change of style with Louis van Gaal when when they needed to bring him in they brought him in and he uh, gave the guy so much confidence and just the the mentality of not uh, wanting to lose but just trying to win and if you can win with with beautiful football just go for it and the system the 4-3-3 system really helped the team and gave them a lot of um, yeah certain certainty you know like uh, they they know now what they what they need to do because all of the the, the Dutch national players they are brought up with the 4-3-3 system hmm. and if you can see here Berghuis and Bergwijn uh, the boat wingers, they played a marvelous match and gave so much depth to the team just with these little passes behind Memphis. And then you have uh, um, Wijnaldum and Klaas going into the deep spaces. So you stretch the whole the whole field and, and that's what basically Holland has been about for ages. And then, you know, with, with uh, Frank de Boer, we lost it a little bit. I believe with uh, Van Gaal, we got it back. And, you know, the, the result, the 6-1 against Turkey, and especially the way they beat Turkey, that's mm. really satisfying. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.